Hello, my name is Tristan Grubbs. I'm a student at Jackson High School, and I'm presenting my experiment on the effect of paper towel brand on how much water it can absorb per dollar. Paper towels are absorbent because their cellulose has small air bubbles that are filled when, when the water comes in contact with water or any other liquid. For the easiest experiment, I'm using two-ply paper towels because it's the most accessible to me um, where I live. Um, the ingredients of these paper towels was not accessible online, but from secondary sources, I did find out that most paper towel brands use 100% virgin wood. The next important factor in my experiment is price. Bounty costs $10 for a six pack or $1.67 for a roll. Bounty costs $12 for a six pack or $2 a roll. Sparkle is $6.44 for a six pack or about $1.07 per roll. And Great Value is $8.42 for a six pack or about $1.40 per roll. Based on this research, Sparkle is the cheapest and Barani is the most expensive. This research is, this experiment is, me is meant to find the most cost effective paper towel in milliliters absorbed per dollar. And it's important to our society because it will help consumers get the best absorption for their money. Cost efficiency is important for all people, but it is especially important for people that don't have the money to be wasting on paper towels that aren't doing great at their job. For my experiments of design, my research question was, what brand has the most milliliters absorption per dollar? My hypothesis was that if brownie was used, then the consumer would get the highest absorption per dollar ratio. I expect that brownie and sparkle will be the least cost efficient and great value and bounty will be the most. My, control, my controllers were, were temperature, humidity, and elevation, because I did all the experiments in my house, syringe, because I used the same syringe for all my experiment, and water type, I just used my tap water. My independent variable was the brands I used, and my dependent variable was milliliters absorbed per dollar, in which I took three samples for each brand. centimeters by 13.9 centimeters. Next, I put a paper towel on a baking sheet and slowly added water until the entire baking sheet was saturated. For Bounty, Brownie, and Walmart, I started with 10 milliliters and add one milliliter or less, making sure I don't over add. However, due to Sparkle only being able to hold around seven milliliters, um, I added too much and I had to redo Sparkle, starting with five milliliters and then slowly adding one milliliter or less. After my, each trial, I recorded the amount of water it took and repeated the process three times for each brand. After that, I averaged my three data points for each brand into a single milliliters absorbed per sheet for each brand. I then counted the paper towels in each brand's roll and multiplied that amount of paper towels by the length of each uncut paper towel. That gives me the length of the roll. Of the roll. So then I just divided that by 13.9 centimeters, uh, which was my cut paper towel length, and that would give me my amount of cut paper towels. Next, I multiplied my amount of cut paper towels in my roll by milliliters absorbed per cut paper towel, which I got from my experiment, and divided it milliliters absorbed per paper towel roll um, by cost per roll, which I found at Walmart. Finally, I put my milliliters absorbed per dollar for each brand in a chart. In my experiment, the only possible dangerous thing I used was scissors. This data table and this bar graph represent my data I got from my experiment. And as you can see, Brani had the least milliliters absorbed per dollar and Bounty had the most by a significant margin. During my experiment, I noticed that Bounty, Brani, and Great Value stayed together very well and had no noticeable faults in the adhesive that connects the two plies. However, Sparkle's two plies were splitting heavily. Also in my experiment, all the paper towel brands used a different pattern on the paper towel. Sparkle had a twirls pattern, Great Value had kind of waves, Bounty had diamonds, and Brani had the most complex pattern, but the most common shape was a trapezoid. Despite having the worst absorption per cut paper towel, Sparkle has a greater milliliters absorbed per dollar than Brani, the most absorption per cut paper towel, because Brani's high cost compared to the rest. On top of Brani's high price, it had a sub 100 uncut paper towel count, significantly lower than any of the other brands. Although my experiment only gave me milliliters absorbed per cup paper towel, steps five through eight of my procedure give me my final milliliters absorbed per dollar for each brand. Finally, when it comes to the spread of my data, my trials, Bounty's min-max are 1.8 milliliters apart, Sparkle's are 1.6 milliliters apart, Brownie's are two milliliters apart, 
and brawnies are the most with three milliliters apart a whole milliliter larger than any of the other brands difference my findings showed the bounty is the most cost effective in milliliters absorbed per dollar other experiments such as the one by insider.com reflected this also stating bounty was the strongest and most absorbent paper towel we tried my three trials for each brand varied only a small amount this leads me to believe that I had no outliers and my data was not very faulty. Possible places of error I could have had, though, in my experiment include the baking pans, because I used two different baking pans in my cuts, and my cuts from cutting the paper towels to 27.9 centimeters by 13.9 centimeters were uneven in some places. Another area that could have caused error is how I decided to add water to my paper towel. I had no automated way of adding, paper of adding water, so I just eyeballed to see when water stopped spreading to the in the paper towel and I added more after that. With just relying on my eyeballs, error is very likely to happen. If I did this experiment again, I would use one baking sheet and I would create an automated way of adding water so I don't have to trust just my eyes. Based on my data, Bounty has a greater possible absorption per dollar in milliliters than Great Value, Sparkle, and Brownie. Therefore, if you want the most cost effective to ply paper towels, Bounty is your best option. My hypothesis did state if Bounty is used, then the consumer will get the highest possible absorption per dollar ratio, and that was correct. With my experiment, people can make educated decisions about the paper towels they buy. The best way to adapt this experiment is to repeat it with a different fluid than water, specifically a thicker fluid like milk, but another way would be to change the experiment um, having a single paper towel brand and having types of liquids as your independent variable and just measuring the milliliters absorbed for each liquid. These are all the websites I used um, in my research and everything I referenced. And I would like to acknowledge my mom who went out to multiple different stores in her free time to get different brands of paper towels in a pandemic.